Okay, we're here outside Newcastle's Quayside. There's a massive Spanish ship that's just docked up. We're going to find out a little bit of information, meet the team and bring it all to you. Hello, I am Alfonso Pérez Herce, García de Deza, from El Galeón, Andalucía. Merchant ship from the 16th century from Spain. It has come here to Newcastle. We're pretty glad to be here and we have an amazing weather, so super nice. We're going to stay here for two weeks, unless we want to stay more, of course. Uh, I don't think we will, though. And we're going to present a bit to you the ship, uh, El Galeón Andalucía. Come here, have a visit with us. Ahí estamos. El Galeón Andalucía is a old Spanish merchant galleon. They were the first merchant ships that were created to cross the Atlantic, to cross to the Philippines, and to bring all the goods from there. The galleons were also the first big ships that were made for those reasons and after that have been evolving to make warships, to make all kinds of other ships. But this was the first ones. This uh, galleon here is a replica of those ships and it uh, has been sailing for around 15 years already. First time it was sailing it went to Shanghai but it's also been to the United States, it's been to the north of Europe, to the south, it's been to Africa, to the all of Asia, it has gone to Dubai, Mediterranean Sea, a bit everywhere, it's gone all around the world, like the old galleons at the time too, although this one hasn't sank yet, because, well, better, right? I mean, we don't want it at the bottom of the sea. And we got a lots of goodies with us that we're transporting from everywhere. Of course, we're not sailing them, we are not pirates, we're uh, honorable merchants, and we're here to present our history, what we think is one of the most important things in our culture and in the navigation culture. So come along and visit us in El Galeón Andalucía. And if you don't want to visit the museum, you can come, us, come with us sailing also. We're going to go sailing to um, Blythe. No, Blythe is where we came from. We're going to go to Whitby. We're going to go to Scarborough, uh, to Deutschland. How do you say that in English? Germany, uh, Germany that's right. We're going to go to Holland, we're going to be all around the North Sea making trips and you can come with us too, it's pretty fun. We can put out the sails, we can do a bit everything they did at the time in a pirate life except dying from illness and all that stuff. But oh no, the ship has five decks to be visited. All of those decks have memorable things from the time. There are decks where the people lived, the gun deck where the, all the artillery happened in the ship, where the fights, everything. There is also the bridge where we ourselves do our navigations and we had to stay there out in the rain, in the cold or in the summer and the hot and we do all the navigations outside. We stand watch over there. You can see also the yards. All the maneuvers that we do here are like they did it at the time. Everything that we do, well, we maybe need 50 strong people, men and women, because our crew is also uh, a lot of different people from different countries, uh, everything. We have French people, we have mm, Dutch people, we have Americans, we are Spanish, uh, South Americans, a bit from everywhere. So everyone is also welcome here. So how, how long have you like, built this ship? Is it like building it from scratch? So this one uh, was built uh, in 18 months and before the building, which was made with a bit more than a hundred artisans. Uh, it was all made by hand. Um, before uh, building it, they did a three-year investigation with all the old documents from the old galleons of the time. So this one is a work of art, in my opinion. And it works pretty well. It moves a lot, though, when we are navigating. But it's fun, too. We can dance with the movement of the ship. So on, on a boat like this as well, how many people would be living on this for how long a period as well? Well, uh, at the time, they would spend here three months just to cross the Atlantic. Now it takes us 24 days. We also have uh, helps to our navigation. We have two engines and we don't have to wait every time there is no wind for our sails. That's why at the time it was also very important to use the currents to go uh, back and forth uh, to America because if the ship wasn't moving with the wind, at least the current was pushing it. So, yes, they would spend three months over there, about one month of navigation, uh, the water and the food would get bad and they would have to drink vinegar and eat uh, a rotten piece of bread with a lot of flour. But 
it was interesting. I'm sure it would be fun, apart from everyone dying around you and all that stuff. And then we've seen there's like a nice luxury sort of cabin. Who would be staying in that? Generally, oh, is that, the captain? that is the noble area, is where all the people that would pay for the trip, the sponsors, everything, would go there. Uh, the nobles also of the time, the royalty. And it's where the admirals, uh, well, the admiral and the fleet officers would get together and have their meetings uh, because these ships would go on convoys of 30 ships and they were also accompanied by military ships so at the end these ships were attacked by pirate corsairs, um, storms, everything that mm, the sea had to offer was uh, against this because at the end these were the guys that would carry the gold everyone was looking for these guys and the captains would have their meetings over there they would also you can see a lantern at the stern of the ship that's called Fanal. There would be always uh, one of these ships that would go at the fore um, a bit further than all the ships and would send signals, uh, light signals with the Fanal so that the rest could know what was happening. There was always communication and yeah, always a hard thing to defend against other people and yeah. storms. And then obviously you mentioned pirates as well there, so I've seen the cannons on board. What, what else would kind of be done when pirates are kind of well, trying to attack? When the pirates would attack, the military ships or armed ships that accompanied these ships would defend them from the pirates. These guys had uh, cannons, but if they had to use the cannons, I would say that they had uh, lost the game already, because it's against uh, an armed ship, this is having like a handgun only. Even though you have 12 cannons and it sounds pretty cool, an arm ships is much more trained for that.